Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday night, Ascend Academy. And tonight we are talking about uh, working your business through our awesome catalog. And we've got Sarah here. Sarah, I'm going to pass the floor to you and let you do your intro and the floor is yours. Excellent. Hi, guys. Um, so many of you know who I am. My name is Sarah Smelton. I'm a star director out of Northern Illinois. Um, I have been selling Cincy for almost 10 years. February will be 10 years. And um, I'm super excited to be talking to you guys about selling through the catalog because Prior to the last three years, that was how we worked our businesses, believe it or not. Like you, we didn't have all the crazy LTOs and um, just all of these things that can kind of take your vision from to the left to the right and not stay focused on the amazing products that are right in front of um, your face in our beautiful catalogs. So um it's a new season. We're a month into our fall winter catalog. And you guys may be noticing that your businesses are looking a little bit different than what they looked like um, this time last year. And, um, and I want to share some of my tips with you um, about the, the current catalog um, in hopes of kind of helping you navigate um, the dip and, um, and some of the obstacles you might be experiencing within your business using the products um, that are in our catalog. So I love using social media as my sharing slash selling platform. And um, I wanted to really take the focus, um, keep the focus on the catalog, but also share with you how you can utilize the catalog within your social media. We know that's kind of the direction, right? You're, you're seeing so much social selling. We know that that's the direction, but I don't want you to lose sight of the products that are in front of you that you can be using um, to curate posts within your social media. Um, so we're gonna dive into the catalog and the share some talking points. And then um, you can pretty much guarantee it, um, that there's going to be items in here that maybe you, or maybe just tidbits of the catalog that maybe you didn't catch or didn't pay attention to. Um, and you may just be surprised to find how much is right under your nose. So um, honestly, how many of you have read the catalog from the front to the back? Nobody. Oh, okay, Melanie. Oh, we've got some hands. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so not a lot, right? I know that you know, naturally we kind of take our focus to the workstation or somebody posts a picture and we're looking at that and we're like, oh, that was such a good way to market that. I'm going to write that down or I'm going to save that post for later or that image for later. And um, you're just taking things as they're being um, either fed to you um, or maybe you are already curating your own content. Okay. So I want to, the reason why I ask everybody to have a catalog with them is because like, you'll see within my catalog, I have like so many sticky notes. Um, I went through, um, I have read the entire catalog and I think that it is one of the elements of being able to curate these posts that's helpful is to know exactly what's inside this book. Like we know, oh, okay, there's warmers and wax in here and there's a page that talks about club and um, this is where I can find all the fragrances that are available in a travel tin, right? You know that it's there as um, that sort of tool for you, but it's it's going to do so much more. So um, let's just kind of get started. Now, if you haven't, and most people at least get to like the front cover, maybe you haven't read that. It was always one of my favorite parts when it was Heidi and Orville. You always saw a picture again, this is like before. Um, you always saw a picture, an annual picture of their entire family. And I really like look forward to and hope that that comes back because their family has just grown so um, immensely with grandchildren now. And um, I, I just loved feeling that sense of connection, right? And so I think that um, the letter in here from Dan does that same exact thing. It gives you that same feeling. So for those of you that haven't read it, it says, I'm just kind of picking some lines here. Um, whether you're here to have fun, build your business, host a party, or purchase our amazing products, we love that you are here. Enjoy the catalog, find your favorites, and we can't wait to help you live your life with fragrance. So 
a good example of how to utilize even just this very first page for getting all of the, the products that are inside of it is to just really connect with your customers and say like, holy cow, look at what, like, look at the business I'm a part of. Think of like, really like take in those words that Dan wrote and um, it, he talks about support, love, connection, like who can say that they're a part of a, of a company that loves their consultants that way, right? It's one of those things you can share that's like, my values align with Sensi values. And as you get into the next coming pages, you talk about, they talk about authenticity, generosity, simplicity, right? So I want you to kind of look, just be thinking and maybe making, taking some notes on some of the things that are like, oh, that might be a really good thing for me to make a post on, okay? So um, you see pictures. What I love is that Sensi has Sensi Snapshot, Sensi Snapshot, right, through Instagram. And you can tag Sensi and they may potentially take some of your pictures for marketing. You are going to find that all throughout this catalog. If there's something within this catalog that's a picture that someone's doing that you love, that Sensi obviously loved as well and really shows off our product. Don't be afraid to make a note of that and say, I'm going to get some products. I'm going to take that picture. Okay. Um, for example, here, Brianna, right? She's over here holding a stack of wax and it's talking about general, it's talking about authenticity, right? And I remember seeing this picture go around on social media a while ago. Um, and lots of people were sharing it, but it was just with her hands, not her face. Um, and so we've always believed in the power of people, right? We support over 230,000 Sensi consultants. Um, and <clears throat> then they talk about how they're supporting uh, Sensi consultants, their independent businesses, 8.2 million customers around the world. There are so, and then their donations, right? They talk about 15.5 million um, US dollars um, to global and local charities, right? So all of this is talking about what is Sensi. These are things that you can be sharing with your customers. You can be talking about that. It helps them realize, um, it, it gives them like a, a, a sneak peek at like at your authenticity. Who are you? Who have you aligned your values with? What company are you aligned with? And you're a part of Sensi. You're a part of this authenticity. You're a part of this generosity. Um, look at the charitable cause warmer, right? So I know if you, um, you know, sell uh, enough of the charitable cause warmers, you get a little um, flag for your, your lanyard um, for Sensi Family Reunion, but that's not really why we're doing it, right? If you haven't purchased one of these, if you're not knowledgeable or up on the knowledge about what are, what charities are we giving to? We used to do um, Alex's lemonade stand, right? There used to be like one um, charitable cause that we would do. Now we're giving to a variety of charity char charitable causes. So knowing what charitable cause we're working with um, or what what we're working towards, um, and to you know serve your community, rally for worthy causes, um, and then uh, and then knowing ten dollars of every sale, right? Um, this is one thing alone that you can post in your social media. Like, look at Sensi is, is generous. We do this charitable cause warmer every year. I don't have a party, host a party, talk to somebody about hosting a party or even their own, their own orders without bringing up this warmer because it's an opportunity for them to give back to you and to just show them like my values. Um, I, I think your values are in line with mine, right? Like that you are generous. And so we have this and it's a beautiful warmer and yada, 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 right? So I'm going to take that off. So I remember where I stopped. So that's just going into our values, right? Now the whiff box, like easy peasy for us to share, right? We always see the sneak peek coming along. We always know, but maybe you're just struggling with, oh, okay, well, what do I want to say about the whiff box? How do I get, um, how do I get an exact value on what's in the whiff box? There are groups for that. You can check around to see what's coming out. You see the spoiler groups. It gives you a breakdown. Make sure the breakdown is accurate because I found multiple times it's not accurate. So make sure that the information that you're putting out there is good information, right? It's super important. Get people excited about the whiff box. People who have never tried certain products with Sensi, this is a chance for them to try them. Full, you know, full size products for, I mean, really you're getting more than what you're paying every single month. And even more so if you're talking to them about Sensi Club, right? Put it in your Sensi Club. You can get it for half off. 
that is how we get our Sensi, that is how we get our whiff boxes half off, right? Sensi has done an incredible job with the whiff box and doing the rebranding on it. It's phenomenal. So they have, they're giving us all of the, um, all of the tools that we need within that whiff box to really push it and get people excited about it. So make sure that you're sharing it. That kind of seems like a no brainer because it's like, I feel, I see a lot of people talking about the whiff box monthly. Um, but if you're not, let this be a good, you know, a chance for you to maybe step out of your comfort zone. If you don't feel confident talking about a whiff box, look right inside of it. It tells you exactly what a whiff box is. You can take word for word, includes a variety of samples and full size items like body clean and laundry product products, Scentsy bars and more. All for less, all, excuse me, all for less money than purchasing the products individually. That's all you have to post, right? If you want to do an Instagram post about it or a post in your VIP group, that's all you have to post. The verbiage is right here in front of you. All you have to do is type it, right? Okay. So you could even go in and if you have a PDF of the catalog, you can also just, you know, screenshot a picture of it and people will be able to read all of the information themselves. Um, Sensi Club. I know not everybody has a Sensi Club. I understand that um, there is a financial obligation tied, tied to having that. I have two Sensi Clubs. I have one that runs um, quarterly and I have one that runs bi-monthly. Oh, monthly. And so unboxing those live, talking about the items that are in it, posting about the things that, um, that are coming in it, the things that are important to you, it builds um, credibility with your customers. It helps them understand like, okay, well, Sarah wants me to have a club and Sarah also has a club. So if she's doing it and, you know, and she's loving it and she's getting these fragrances and she can cancel at any time, I can do the same thing. So being knowledgeable on that. And then also explaining to your customers, what does it look like to have a club and, um, and what's in it for them, right. With all of the reward points that they can earn by referring and just purchasing on their own. That's just, that's another one of those things. Um, that I'm going to go back to that Noemi. So I, I cause I'm going to forget in my brain. <laughs> um, that's just one of those things that helps um, people feel like, okay, yeah, I, I think I do want to do a club, right? Sarah's got one. And that is amazing that that discontinued six months ago and she still gets it right. Um, so going into like the bread and butter of our business, which is warmers and wax, right? That's where, that's where we got started. Um, one of the cool things that I've noticed as I go through the entire catalog is you're going to see up in this corner, actually, at any time you see a new product, there is this section here and it says why Sensi. Okay. So pay attention to that as you go through your catalog. If you're like, why should they use our warmers and wax? Why should they use our laundry stuff? Why should they use our cleaning line? There is a cute little thing in here that, that in every single catalog, every single section of the catalog that brings out a new product, they give you a Y Sensi, okay? So uh, it's just one of those things to kind of have in the back of your brain to be like, okay, this is why you need Sensi's warmer and wax. This is why um, you should be using, again, our cleaning line or pet line, whatever. Um, so for example, this one. Um, so this says, this is an experience like no other. It all started with warmers and wax designed to safely melt wax without any flame, soot or smoke. Sensi warmers come in a variety of high quality, unique designs crafted by artisans around the world. And when you add our signature scents, the result of, is a beautiful unmatched fragrance experience. How better can you tell people that they need Sensi versus, um, versus like the, the, this little thing that they put literally right here in the catalog for you, right? So, um, okay, so we have that. Now, the next thing is, I'm if for those of you that are following on, along, I'm, I'm on page nine, okay? Educating your customers on all of the aspects of our wax specifically is so important. It, you are doing them a disservice if you're not sharing with them um, for example, say someone was to say, Sarah, I got this bar of wax and it was really good for the first couple of days. And now it's not, you know, it's just not as strong anymore. I can say, oh, wow, Susie, that's because all of our top notes are the ones that warm, you know, first and blah, blah, blah. so you, you can explain to them having the information about why that happens and that our wax melts right in layers and, um, and giving them an understanding of adding more than one cube, right? I have so many like single cube offenders. It's like astounding. I'm like, I don't understand how 
you even control yourself enough to only grab one cube. That's just like criminal. But I tell them like add multiple cubes of wax, right? Make sure that you're looking at the bottom of your dish, telling them, explaining to them how does Sensi work, right? You are a fragrance specialist. This is a part of what you do. And so going through this catalog and looking and, and taking in this information, the other tool that's really incredible, and if you don't have it, you need to get one, is the product training guide. The product training guide is one of those things that goes hand in hand with your catalog, and it gives you all of the information you need about anything that we sell, right? So um, having that to pair with um, you curating these posts for your, um, for your pages or for your social media or whatever is all very helpful. It can give you the words when you're feeling like, I don't know, how do I explain this? What, how do I, um, how do I share like the, the, the best parts of this product? Um, you get into talking about light bulbs, cotton cleanups, right? Our, our bases that we offer. There's ways for you to go in and highlight each one of those things um, from within the catalog, right? You can, you can go on to um, Pinterest or even Google sometimes if you're in uh, groups where maybe they share live images or like real life images, go take some of those and share like, this is what this tabletop base looks like. This is what this, um, maybe say the, you know, the wings warmer looks like in real life. Taking real life images makes such a difference. It's so easy to go to the, um, to, you know, even, even just through Sensi, you can go to the marketing tab and you can grab images. I feel like nothing compares to the pictures that consultants are sharing out there, the real life pictures, right? Staged within a space, um, that feels warm and welcoming. And, um, and so if you can find those images to share, it makes all the difference. I feel like when you are going and sharing warmers, so warmers, we have so many warmers. Um, I feel like, and I've been seeing so much more of this. I saw it a lot last, um, last catalog season, but I'm seeing more of it now is like a, this or that, right. Or what warmer would you pick for this space? Um, I uh, had heard somebody had made a suggestion, like if you just take a picture of four warmers and say like, what would you name these warmers or something like that? And then go back and, and reveal what the real names of the warmers were. You're creating, um, you're sharing products, right? With your customers, products that are going to be available in our catalog, right? There's, of course, there's a chance that something may go on back order, right? We, we know that that's a possibility, but one of the greatest pieces of selling what we have in this catalog is that we are going to have this in the catalog for the next six months, right? So we know it's not going anywhere. Um, one interesting thing that I found when I was going through this catalog is that they actually don't talk about LTOs in the catalog until you're at page 31. There's literally halfway through the catalog and it is in the scent, like the, the, the scent bar section um, where they talk about LTOs. And the reason they do that is because those are all a bonus, right? We know that we, we know that everybody gets, you know, some people get worked up when it's like, oh my God, it sold out, or I missed it or whatever. That is why working through the catalog and utilizing your catalog and the products that are there are so important because those aren't going anywhere. Hocus Pocus may go somewhere, um, Scooby-Doo may go somewhere. Those ones are, may not come back, or maybe you're going to have to wait an extended period of time for a pre-order, right? Um, or like a second chance order. The items that are here in your catalog right now, um, they're available, right? And, um, even, I mean, even with these collections where Sensi's offering, you know, you get, we buy a warmer and you get four bars of wax. I'm not telling you not to push those ones, but look at the warmer as a whole, right? Look at warmer as a whole, share that warmer, share flaunt your feathers with customers um, outside of a join promotion, share that warmer. And then if someone says down the road, like, oh my gosh, I really like that warmer a lot. You can say, oh, great. You know, the, the home warmer uh, or um, uh, bless this home warmer. Oh, I'm so glad you love that because you can actually get it this month for four bars. That's just a perk, right? It is a, a warmer that is in our catalog and it's a bonus that they're able to get it with, um, with, um, free, you know, free wax. So in doing these things and sharing, maybe you're going to pick 
four warmers off of this and you're going to say, would you pick this one or would you pick that one? Or would you pick, you know, this one or that one? Or maybe say you do the bottom two because they're like pretty close. This or that, right? When you're sharing that and people are commenting, you're building a relationship with your customers or you're building a relationship with maybe people outside of your VIP group. If you are one that posts a lot of your Sensi on your, your um, personal page, you're building a relationship with people. You're sharing things with people that maybe if they've never looked at our catalog, would never see. I can personally say birds of a paradise I have never posted, but moving forward, I'm going to because it's something that's in our catalog and I know I can put it next to something else and I'll be able to say, want your feathers or birds of paradise? Which one would you pick, right? And then I'm showing them something that maybe I wouldn't have normally showed them because it's not my jam. I love flaunting your feathers, um, but it's exposing my customers to something that's already in the catalog and that's available now. Um, so I'm not going to like beat a dead horse on, uh, warmers, but talking about things like tabletop bases, um, what kind of environment are you creating, right? A Zen environment. Um, do you have a black thumb using things like that to, to push forward, um, like little garden, the, uh, the succulent warmer, the aloe vera talking about things like that and finding a way um, finding a way to um, really share the, those warmers that are already in there. Now, um, farmhouse, teachers, okay, wax, right? So um, for our wax collection, right? This kind of seems like one of those things that I think people naturally do go on and do a sniff session of the new releases and they sit and talk about like, oh, which one do you like? Well, I like this one and this is what it smells like. It kind of reminds me of XYZ, right? We do that typically for new release, um, for the new release fragrances. But what if you did that for the harvest collection um, for, or for the, for the, like the harvest, did it like the holiday versus harvest, right? So you go and sniff, I'll go pull all the testers for the ones that are available in the harvest, go pull all the testers for the ones that are available in spice, or maybe um, take and match them up. Would you rather have you know, farm stand pumpkin or uh, I don't know, Christmas cottage, right? And put those two together or be able to say things like, if you love this fragrance, you'll love this one. Share with your customers the fragrances that we have available because it's super important that they understand like, okay, well, I really love um, cider mill, right? Because Yum. Um, I really love cider mill. I would, I bet um, if you love cider mill, I would love for you to try um, autumn road trip, right? That's a, like something else that's like grown on me this past season. Um, so if you like this fragrance and you like that one, let me know if you want to sample, right? I'm always kind of trying to think of, of things within the catalog that I know I'm going to be able to get my hands on, that I know my customers are going to be able to get their hands on for the next six months. Um, or for that six months, right, um, that I can send out samples of. I personally do a newsletter every month. And in my newsletter, I try to include fragrance wax samples, at least the sample of the scent of the month. And then I try to do something else. This month, I'm doing Nightmare Before Christmas because the stuff is still available, right? So um, in this particular instance, I am utilizing an LTO, but um, it hasn't sold out. So got to. Um, but other times you might do, you might pick four fragrances from the holiday collection or from the spice collection or bakery or something like that. So, um, let me see. Okay. There's the LTO page. So, um, yeah, so it's important for you to get those fragrances in front of your customers. Of course, you can get them in a rub and stiff, uh, rub and sniff sticker. That's always an option for you to get those fragrances in front of them, but it from um, a social media platform, taking an image with the bar and, and the description and a bar in the description and just posting about them together. Um, that's a good way for your customers to get, um, you know, just kind of to be able to see, get those fragrances in front of them that maybe they wouldn't have otherwise um, looked at. Um, okay, so the other thing is, is hello, with a partnership with Disney. There are so many, um, adorable Disney products that we have available. And if you're not sharing with people, like we are the official fragrance, you know, the official, official fragrance products of Walt Disney World Resorts, right? If you're not sharing that with people and you're not getting pictures, these pictures here, um, or if you have your own again in front of customers and explaining, oh my gosh, 
Disney Oh Boy smells so um, amazing. Totally Minnie Mouse is fantastic. And being able to share those with your customers, they're not going to know that they're there. These again are licensed products that are in our catalog for the entire time, right? Which is majority of these were around um, last time or uh, this past catalog season. So they are tried and true. We have these beautiful, you know, new uh, Disney uh, wall fan diffusers of Mickey and Minnie. They're of course Winnie the Pooh, and you have the Disney, um, the Disney princesses. Marvel is uh, is separate, but then you have Marvel. So again, getting these fragrances in front of customers, maybe they don't have someone that would want to have um, necessarily the the Winnie the Pooh wall fan diffuser, but they might really love the smell of hundred acre wood, right? Getting that in front of them and giving them the scent description. And then maybe they're like, oh my gosh, cotton blossoms, wild jasmine and cozy vanilla. That sounds amazing. We can't assume that they wouldn't want that, right? We wanna give them the opportunity to, to get the fragrance in front of them and share with them like this, this fragrance is amazing. And it doesn't have to be about, um, about Winnie the Pooh. It can just be a fragrance that you're sharing. Maybe you take that and, um, you know, true love, Disney princess, true love together and share those as something or nine realms. I personally love nine realms. I think it's fantastic. Um, actually I like all three of them, but so being able to get those in front of your customers, you don't want them to only find out that we have those products because they're in an LTO or because they're on sale or, or for whatever, you know, whatever reason, you don't want them to know about that just because of that. You're doing them an injustice by not sharing all of the things that we have. So um, we're on the kids section. So whether you have kids or you don't have kids, if you do a buddy drive, um, sharing these just to plant the seed that you have them as a product that, again, is always available is it's fantastic. You can use them for school fundraiser prizes. Um, the Biddy Buddies, just to give the knowledge of what a Biddy Buddy is, how is the fragrance in there? How, how, does, how do they work, right? Um, can you put them in the, in the washing machine or do they need to be spot cleaned? Again, these are things you can be sharing with your customers. Keep yourself, um, I'm trying to keep my eye on the time. I know I'm like, I'm like trying to hurry. <laughs> um, these are things that you can be thinking of um, and sharing with your customers so that they're like, oh, I could really use a stocking stuffer. Oh, I remember that Noemi posted something about these cute little clips that would be adorable on so-and-so's book pack, you know, backpack after they go back to school or something hanging off the front of, oh, thank you, Karen. Um, something hanging off of uh, the front of their stocking, right, at Christmas time. So sharing that. We also have um, Valley the, the Valley Sheep, right? So it's been a while since we've had that one um, Scentsy Buddy that's staying in um, in the catalog. We can get him all um, all catalog season long and where some of his friends retire after they sell out, right? Um, so talk about him, share him. One of the great, what I love about him most, is, well, now what I love about the buddy most, what I love about his page most is that you get to see Orville down here in the bottom, right? You get to see like, like that's our, that is like, that's our guy. That's our co-owner, right? He is, he is like the heartbeat behind this business aside from us consultants, right? And, and then the home office, like he brought those sheep, right? He brought those here and, and now they're in this catalog and you can, make a post about just how wonderful it is and check out this picture of him. And then if you can take a selfie, um, you know, with the buddy and share that a little piece of, of again, like of Sensi of where, um, where we started and, and where about our co-owner and you can tag, you know, um, Orville and Heidi, and it gives people a glimpse of who they are um, as humans and what they're doing right now on their mission. Um, it's really beautiful and it just ties right back to our core values. So um, make sure that you're sharing those, whether you're using them or you're not, um, that's really not the most important part, but to have one there in front of you to be able to share or be at least sharing it with your customers um, for someone who could use one or may want to get one in the future, um, I would 100% recommend that. Um, okay, so our air purifier, this feels like, okay, so I know it's hard for some people to have these within their home. Um, I, they, you know, if you're not using rewards or whatever, they, they can 
feel something that's like out of your budget, right? And so um, it, this may not be um, a, like a practical ask uh, or suggestion for some people and that's okay. Um, there's so many other ways that people have marketed this without physically having uh, the air purifier within their home. What I love about the way that Sensi did this particular page, because I looked at last year's versus this year's, and then even looking in the product training guide, um, everything you need to know is right here on one page as a super easy read, right? If you are struggling and maybe you've never used our air purifier before to know what does it do? Is it, what is, what kind of filter does it use? What does the red light mean? How does it work? Right? Like, is there a, li a, a lifetime warranty, a limited lifetime warranty on it? Just getting all the information is right there on one page. It even has a little section that tells you like get a replacement filter for $35, right? All on the same page. Everything you need to know about that is right there on, um, is right there on your, uh, on that particular page. And so if you have one and you're using one or you've seen other people use it and it's easy enough to maybe pass off that picture as your own to be like, here's a clean one, here's a dirty one, right? This is what these filters look like. Um, being able to visually see what that machine is sucking out of your air is like so disgusting because like I've changed my filters. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Like this was in the air, right? And it's as shocking to me as it is to my customers to be able to see that. And um, so being able to really show a side-by-side -side picture or at least um, someone side-by-side -side pictures to say like, look at what this thing is doing, right? Um, utilize the, the, the wording from within the catalog. Um, again, this is another one of those things that's like, where, why Scentsy, right? We make durable, convenient fragrance solutions to quickly freshen your spaces, including, um, includes limited lifetime warranty, right? So there's another one of those whys, like why pick Scentsy over something you can buy on Amazon? Why buy, um, why buy, you know, our, our air purifier? Why our filters, right? Why our pods? So having all that information right there makes it so much easier for you to utilize our catalog, right? They're giving you everything you need to know. Um, and then we have our wall fan diffusers, wall fan diffusers, like those things are like my go-to in almost any space that my children will occupy because it has that sturdy shell on the outside of it. The inside, the, the little plug unit is, um, is plastic. I'm so thankful the, the pods have beads inside of them and not wax, right? When I'm talking about these wall fan diffusers, I get super passionate because they have saved me so many times from little fingers going and playing with them and stacking the pods and flipping them over and whatever, right? So when I talk about them, my customers know that I love them. That is probably one of my top selling um, products. And it's because I share it a lot and I change my pods in them a lot. I really love to share the fact that you get 120 hours out of one single pod, right? So um, that's about one to two weeks, right? Um, depending on how long you have it on. Putting them one on top of the other allows you to get stronger fragrance, like just being knowledgeable about that. And then again, knowing what do the pods, what fragrances do the pods come in? Um, I am all about this, uh, this fragrance system. I love it, it's instant. It is the first thing I turn on when I find out that someone is coming over and like is going to be near my front door because it's like instantly let some fragrance in. And maybe I haven't changed my wax like in, I don't know, a week. I need, right, to like make sure that I've got of the, the Sensi house, right? So I love um, the wall fan diffusers. I love that they have a nightlight. I love that we can talk about the Disney ones and know, um, or a licensed one and know that they're going to have a light, right, for kids. So make sure that these are all little details that you're capturing because it's super important and everything you need to know about them is right inside your catalog. Um, okay. So diffusers, right? Go in, um, when you're looking at your diffusers, there are, this is, there's just so much information about them within even just the first two pages. Um, looking at the premium and then also the deluxe diffusers. One of the things that caught my mind, caught my eye about the deluxe diffuser um, is it said like there's, there's a ton in here, but one of the things that the, del the deluxe diffuser specifically says, 
sturdy construction, perfect for busy household, AKA, if someone is going to knock it over, this is the one you need. Do not buy the one that is glass because it will break, right? Like Sensi already thought of that. Like when you're thinking, well, the one that's in my son's room is a deluxe diffuser because I don't trust him. I know I cannot trust him. He wants the pretty one. This is not going to happen, right? You have to, like they are forward thinking. So Sarah, what is the difference between this one and this one? Which one would I need? Well, let's see, you have, you know, four kids and three cats and two dogs. Well, we're looking for function and purpose, right? We need the deluxe one. If you're looking for something that's going to go in your room where the door is shut and no one's going to touch it, then this is the premium is the one for you. You should definitely get the stargaze one, right? So um, going in here and just being aware of how they all function um, and, and what, what you need them for, and then being in tune with your customer and what they need them for, highlight them both. They're both in there, right? You have interchangeable lids for, um, or, uh, you know, tops for, uh, I know I'm not calling those right. Why am I not calling those right? The shade, um, interchangeable shades for the, um, the premium diffusers, which are all beautiful. Um, and it, and, you know, Sensi is so amazing. Hello. Who is, we can use this graphic right here, right? We need that. So it shows exactly what happens. I see some people post like one picture after another, after another, as the light's changing, that's really cool, but it really is like cutting into my scroll time. So you have one image that's like, okay, here you go. This is what they all look like. Here's, here are the LEDs, right? The 16 LEDs. So, um, being able to utilize um, the things that that Sensi has provided you in in that section, as well as okay the the oils. So I specifically, admittedly, I'm like an oil snob. There are only a couple oils that I really like, but let me just tell you, the nothing says it better than the product training guide about our oils. Okay, so it specifically breaks down essential oils. It specifically breaks down natural oils and helping you understand the difference between whether this is something um, that is mixed or if it is, excuse me, whether it's something that's mixed, mixed or um, with an essential oil or it is an actual essential oil, right? Harvested from the most um, uh, aromatic, is it, am I saying that right? Ar aromatic, aromatic? aromatic. Okay. We'll just go with it. Um, botanicals to deliver a clean single note fragrance, right? So like lemon, and then you're looking at a natural oil and the natural oil combining naturally derived ingredients to create wonderful fragrance. Some blends even include pure essential oils. So they're blends, right? If a customer is coming to you and they're like, well, what's the difference? Why is this one, this one? And why is this one that, right? And, and you can explain to them like, okay, well, this is what an essential oil is. This is what a natural oil is. If you don't feel comfortable talking about our oils, um, me, right? If you don't feel comfortable talking about our oils, the best place to go to is your product training guide. And then to go and look and say, Okay, so what do you, what kind of, like, what are you trying to feel tonight, Melanie? You want to be comfort? You want to be balanced? You want to be calming? Like, you want to be uplifting? Like, what do you want, girl? Right? And when we can go through our catalog, because it's all right here. We don't have to guess. We don't have to Google. We don't have anything. It's all right here. And you can share with them um, the description, right? So the eucalyptus, 100% pure essential oil derived from the leaves of eucalyptus, right? Like it's, it's clearly tells you right there. There's another one that says like, um, soak in a fragrant whirlpool of relaxing lavender flower, uplifting mint, energizing eucalyptus and encouraging nutmeg. Eucalyptus lavender mint is one of my favorites. Love it so much. Um, so being able to go in and give those descriptions, maybe, maybe you take one of each from each section of your, of, of these, um, your, of these vibes and decide like, okay, I'm going to put this one against this one, this one against this one. How are we feeling today? Right. Cause they're all right there in front of you. Um, okay. Our body line. Right. So I feel like as, and this might not be true for all of you, but I feel like as I get further back into the catalog, with the exception of the clean line, I feel like it's what you see less of, right? You, we see the warmers and the wax. We see the wall fan diffusers that we, we see the regular diffusers. We don't see a lot of talk about the body, talk about, um, 
you know, the pampering, the sugar scrub, the body wash. Um, every time I place an order with free rewards, I get a body wash. And every time I open one, someone's going to see it, right? Because I want to share what I'm using. I got one in my whiff box last month and I absolutely love that fragrance. It's so good. Um, so talking about that and sharing with your customers, like I use this too. I can't be like, Hey, Trish, I think you really need this, um, hand soap, or you really need the Scentsy soap. And then, but then I'm not using it, right? My customers want to know that I'm suggesting something to, to them that I'm using myself. So outside of just doing social sharing, taking information from here, like, okay, did you know that our body cream has um, aloe and sunflower oil in it, right? So that's right, girlfriend, you can sell it unless you use it. Um, so did you know that it has aloe and sunflower oil in it? Did you know that our, um, our fragrance mist has aloe in it. These are things that are all provided right to you in your catalog, right? It tells you right here and up here it says, if you see an aloe leaf, it means it has aloe. If you see a sunflower, it means it has sunflower oil. These are easy ways for you to share, right? Our products. And um, again, you can find, I feel like once again, the, I feel like the marketing team has done a much better job of giving us really nice, cute. I mean, look at this image. I would even share this whole page right here, right? Like, look, the quality is fantastic. But if you have something else, or you can go on and you can look up coconut daiquiri on Pinterest and see if you can't find someone's ba like bag from within their bathroom and you want to share that, that's okay too. But you have all of the information you need to know about it. No need to like rack your brain over a caption because it's right here in front of you. Um, Okay. Laundry, loads of fun. I mean, I don't really, there's not too much I can give you. It's all the same, right? They give you everything that you need to know within here. Um, and really the best pictures you can find are going to be, again, going online and finding some, you can look at the marketing tab you want, but real life photos are key and super helpful. Um, I don't even, I don't think I even have to talk to anybody about Scentsy Fresh or dish soap or the counter clean or the all purpose or the bathroom cleaner, because I have seen so many people post about it because we all use it and we love it, right? We know, and your customers know. If you haven't for whatever reason, and it's not been your jam or you haven't tried it or whatever, everything you need to know about these products are in the catalog. Everything you need to know. It will tell you that you can get six bottles, right? Of diluted um, all-purpose cleaner, right? You know that because it's in the catalog. If you don't know it, look in the catalog, right? Um, it tells you all the fragrances that are available. It talks to you about bundle and save. It talks to you about Scentsy Club never running out. Um, so, and again, one of these things for, I, I'm just solely like strongly feel about the Scentsy Clean line specifically and using the Scentsy Fresh, using it is the best way. I can't even count the number of bottles of Scentsy Fresh I have sold solely for spraying my bed, right? Or the dog bed or the curtains or the carpet things like that. I mean, people are just like, Oh wait, what's that really? Oh, that sounds super easy. I want to try it. And they want more and more. And same with counter cleaner, right? Um, the, we have our dog line. Um, the, I'm just going to like brief over that. I mean, it's the same concept though, you know, with our body products, what we use on ourselves, being knowledgeable about what is in it and what it's made of makes a big difference. You will come across people who um, maybe are a new customer. I just had this last month where they want to know like, what is in this? I am a dog breeder and my house smells like dogs. I need to know. Right. And I was able to tell her confidently, like, this is like, you don't have to worry about, um, the, the products and what is inside of them. Um, I had a note here. It was like, uh, aloe something. Hold on. Oh yeah, aloe, sunflower, sunflower oil again, and then oatmeal, right? So being able to say that to her, she's like, oh, okay, yeah, no, that sounds really good. I feel super confident that I'm able to, to use that on the dogs. Um, the, you know, the, the best bud suds, the fresh nut pup, fresh nut pup especially. Oh gosh, yeah. And then Scentsy Fresh, right? Where those, where those little puppies are gonna be laying. So, um, okay, next. Um, I'm almost done, I'm getting closer. Um, so the um, travel twist, right? So what I love most about the travel twist is how people are getting super creative about where they're putting it. Like I've seen it like in a ceiling 3M to something and a garbage can 3M to something. Look for the ways that people are using their creative marketing on this um, and, and be again, informed on the fragrances that we have available. 
um, for this particular item, right? You've got, again, like if you, if you're not, if you haven't gotten one yet, we haven't used one yet and you're not sure how it works, again, coming back to our catalog is going to be helpful, helpful for you. So um, let me see. So like just knowing that it, that it opens you know, a little bit or a lot, knowing that there's little stars on the side that tells you how much fragrance you're getting, right? Um, being in tune with how the product works and knowing that there's like a, a, a pad in there that has fragrance on it, right? That allows you to be unplugged and take fragrance with you everywhere. Really any of our unplugged fragrance, any of our unplugged um, products, it's good for you to know how they work, how long they last, the fragrance flowers, our travel twists. If you haven't gotten a travel twist yet, next time you have a party um, or you have, you know, some sort of rewards or you want to add one, they're seven bucks, right? Go in, add one, and then be able to say like, I just got this really cool thing in the mail and I, and I ordered it and are in my last order and I'm super impressed by it. I put it here. It's going to last up to, you know, 30 days. And just being knowledgeable about that, sharing that in front of your customers, a brand new product is there's like such an opportunity here. You have customers who use the um, travel tins before. I was never a travel tin seller. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, I just, it just was not a product that I was interested in. And um, I had people purchase them, but it was never something that I personally used in my sense of business or in my life. Um, but if you have people who, who per per have purchased those in the past, just go and say like, Hey, I have this really cool new product for you. I would love for you to try one. There's seven bucks, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Um, but get them in front of people and talk about them because people can't buy something that they don't know exists. Right. So if they know that the travel twist isn't, or the, um, sorry, the travel tin isn't there for them anymore. Um, but the travel twist is, it could be something that they're like, Hey, it's been 30 days. I need another one of these. Right. Um, so, okay. Um, talking about parties, uh, you know, talking about hosting again, if these are things that are like, how do I, what kind of parties can I have? Maybe you're a newer consultant and you're still kind of trying to figure it out. Maybe you joined through COVID and you didn't know what a home party looks like, or you're unfamiliar with like the different ways that, that you can party with people doing it online, going, doing a home party, um, doing something, a, a basket party, right? Maybe you're unfamiliar with those, like the ways of partying, you can find information about that right within your catalog. So um, I mostly just, I'm, I'm hoping that somebody was, some of you or all of you, hopefully were able to get something um, to, that was a good takeaway from this. It's just important to remember that these products are always going to be there, right? They're going to be there through the, through this catalog season. And, um, just because you share them doesn't necessarily mean like, oh, I'm going to share this in my group and say this or that. And someone says, oh, that it doesn't mean that they're, they're going to buy it. Right. Maybe not right that minute. Um, but you are engaging with them. You're building an audience. You're, you're building a, you know, you're building a relationship and, um, and they're going to come to trust you for the things that you're sharing with them. So, um, that's all I have. I don't know. Does anybody have any questions? I'm going to try to go back and look at the chat because I want to make sure I saw some things that was, that I was missing. I, I'm kind of following the chat as well. I, um, I don't see any questions, but this was fantastic. And there was, if you have a question, drop it in the chat for sure. Um, thank you so much, Sarah. You know, there's all that kind of thing in the, and then just people commenting about, um, like the air purifiers they sold and the body products and all that kind of thing. Um, this was a fantastic. I think this, if we well, said, I hope you got one thing, take away one thing. Like if someone is on here and they didn't take away something, <laughs> we need to rewatch the recording because there are so many takeaways from this. It is like a really good, solid foundational Zoom, I think of the like catalog walkthrough that I think you could share with new consultants. You could share with anyone like it's just I will probably go back and watch it a couple times because thank um, you that's content. so sweet well and you know I don't sugarcoat so you know I really mean it <laughs> uh, <laughs> awesome awesome um thank you so much I really really appreciate your time um My pleasure. tomorrow night we have ascend lounge at eight o'clock eastern seven o'clock central six o'clock mountain five o'clock pacific and we have book club week one. I do not have the book in front of me because it's still packed in a suitcase. 
I know Hannah's going to come to our rescue. She's searching for hers too. Who has the book? Anyone have the book I can spotlight? Jan has oh, it. Oh, yes. Hold on just a second. Let me spotlight you, Jan. All right. Did that work or not? I feel like there, add spotlight. Okay. All right, Jan. Jan's holding up the book. We have Time, Money, and Freedom Book Club starting tomorrow night. It's by Ray and Jessica Higdon, and it's a fantastic book. We are doing, off the top of my head, I think it's chapters one through three. One through three. Thanks, Melanie. Um, and that's at nine o'clock Eastern, right after Ascend Lounge tomorrow. We will see you all then. If you haven't gotten the book yet, and this is the first you're hearing about it, and you want to join us, still join us tomorrow night. All the links are on the Ascend Book Club Facebook group. Um, I will, someone will, Hannah, will you drop the link in the chat? Book Club link, Facebook group, Book Club link. And then um, next week, we have Melanie talking about events. Melanie, you want to give us a, a 30 second promo? Um, yes, so I will be explaining how I do my event in detail with Tiffany, my big event. So it's be more about um, how to maybe share um, events with team members and different tricks that you can do. And I will also be sharing my um, square inventory so that you will be able to dump your my inventory that I have into your square so then you don't have to rebuild. You Square. guys, that's life changing if you yes. do events. It will have a lot. It may not have everything of the new stuff, but it will give you a very big start because I'm still adding the new catalog in there. I don't know if it will be done by then. Wait, I think but I heard you say it'll be done by then. I don't know if it will be done by then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working hard at it. The hardest part is the bars because there's so many of them. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, absolutely. And I don't have all the warmers, but it will get you a good start. So I will talk about that different things that I sh that Tiffany and I do together so that you can like streamline sharing events with team members. And awesome. And then just to make sure that you um, have them on your calendar the following Tuesday. So the third Tuesday this month, we are talking about Project Broadcast and Hannah has arranged for someone from Project Broadcast to actually come and do the training for us. Um, she is awesome. It's, it's, it's her, right, Hannah? Yeah. Okay. She is awesome, by the way. Super, super awesome. And then the last week of the month, we are talking about um, preparing for the holiday collection launch. So make sure you have them all on your calendar and we will see you tomorrow night. Have a good one, you guys.